Welcome back to Let's Play Shantae, Risky's Revenge. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I spent a little time wandering around off-camera, hit, hit up the save guy, and I decided I'm going to hit the lilac fields and just go into the forest from that direction, because I haven't found that entrance yet. can't quite remember where that is. Hey, it's worth a shot. Well, fuck, is this it right here? No. Actually, those can have hearts inside them, I should check. I didn't check that out. Oh, I see. Interesting. So there must be another one out. Over here. Fucking A, man. That's the tree I was squatting in front of. He so old, it's gathering moss. <laughs> you have died. what I'm supposed to be doing, or if I should return to the, uh, Ammo Baron or the town. Oh, right, can't drop through those. I think I'm about to get whatever removes those from my path. I just had to time that better. You know, I will say this, it's really annoying when I'm trying to get uh, shape-shifted in a hurry. But I do like that... Uh, for the purposes of accidentally pushing the wrong button, I do like that they have that you don't immediately change into a uh, monkey if you just tap Y.
Yep, looks like that's gonna happen right about now. No giant woman statues this time. Who approaches my magic fountain? I sense a restless energy deep inside you. Channel your passions and allow the magic to take shape. You got the elephant dance! Simply hold the dance button and then release it during your second belly dance move to transform. The elephant dance will allow you to smash away obstacles. To change back, press the dance button. May fortune follow you in your travels. I'm pretty sure elephants are physically incapable of jumping. I want to check that. Well, no time like the present. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, this elephant can jump. Ugh. Oh yeah, look at that. That's my attack button, by the way. Ugh. Oh right. I wanna say that's an Indian elephant? The ears are smaller on an Indian elephant. Again, it is, you know, a cartoon video game, so... They might not have had any specific, uh, breed in mind. Ahem. <laughs> That's very silly. Oh. No! Monkey time. <laughs> no. I can see where this is going to be very useful. If I can ever remember not to do that. I really like the detailed eyes. I'm not sure why they're gray. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Shante has blue eyes in the uh, animated bits. Hey, a Brainiac. Where are you going? Yes, where to? Yeah, blue eyes. Who are you guys? No need for alarm. Shantae, right? The chick with the brain? From Scuttletown? Yeah, she's the one little sis is always running in the mouth about. This may stun you guys, but I'm not especially surprised to learn these guys are with Roddy Tops. You guys are Roddy Tops' brothers? I thought her name was Roddy Tops with an S. You certainly don't remove the S and add an apostrophe S to uh, indicate possession from a name that ends in S. I think the official way to do it is to just add an apostrophe after the S, but most people just do uh, add an apostrophe S after the S anyway. Whatever. Uh, I'm confusing myself and talking about boring things. You guys are Roddy Tops' brothers? 
Yeah, that's right. Abner Cadaver, the oldest. And this here is Poe. We're here because we got a proposition for you. Like... Like, we know your next stop is the Hypno Baron. His Oceanside Fortress is impenetrable. There ain't no way you're breaking in there without our help. It's a labyrinth that pours deep into the seaside cliffs. It's filled with tricks and traps. Very, very dangerous. Our offer is this. We get you in. In return, you gotta brew us some coffee. Are you serious? Dead serious. You know about wild brain-eating zombies? A strong cup of joe is the only thing that separates us from them. So do it. You don't want to be there when Sis's eyes roll back and she goes freak show on you. You're gonna need a coffee machine and some fresh coffee beans. Oh, and I like mine with a little rotten egg mixed in. Drop it off at the old boathouse and we'll hook you up with the way into that labyrinth. You got all that? I hear you, but... I seriously have to do a coffee run? You ain't gotta do it. But good luck getting inside the Hypno Baron's digs if you don't. I am legitimately surprised there was no boss fight against the Mo Baron. Like, I was pretty sure that was leading to a bit where, uh... Well, at first I was, I was pretty sure it was leading to a bit where I just kill the Ammo Baron and Shantae becomes the mayor of Scuttletown. Uh... Maybe they'd even do some, like, mechanics with that in the next game. But, um... And then, when I got to the Battle Tower, and he said, uh, let's see what you found at the top, I thought it was going to be a, uh... Oh, fuck it. The only comparable situation I can think of is from the Dungeons & Dragons movie everyone hated. I thought it was going to be a scenario where no one had ever beaten the, uh, Battle Tower before, not even the, the uh, Ammo Baron. So he was going to try and take the seal away from me. I guess I'll head back to town, then. Hope I didn't miss a round of, uh... Actually, that is as close as I can get, isn't it? Hmm. I hope I didn't miss a round of, uh... Conversation from everybody. Just gotta remember all the places I've seen those fucking rocks. Every time I see a monster, I kill it. Usually in the most brutal way I can think of. It's the best way. Just I needed to adjust the mic there. Sometimes I fall asleep when no one is looking. I wonder if the change of ownership of the town will affect my job. I enjoy standing. That and looking. Hey, do what makes you happy, man. So, you come here often? The import room lady used to work at a bathhouse. I miss that place. I'm changing my name to Ammo Baron Jr., my mom protests. I'm really surprised the town isn't, like, made over with posters or something. I'm certain that the Squid Baron stole three of my precious magic jams. I hope someone finds them and puts them to good use. Dag nabbit, I left my other town to escape the Ammo Baron. Looks like I may have to move again. Make sure you have the three basic magic types. You never know when they will come in handy. My heart weighs heavy, like my jug. You see, that's kind of what I was talking about by the, the you know... I kind of see where they're coming from with the game is too sexy. Given that the 
This woman's idle animation involves her bouncing her boobs one by one, for God's sake. The town even smells worse! A powerful artifact exists, which allows a monkey to dash over large pits like a speeding bullet. Same speech as ever from you, I know, I know. Considering I'm sh uh, Risky Boots is either going to be the last or the second last boss in the game. We are now a military town? If they start raising us kids to be deadly assassins, I'm going to use my power to combat the evil that's taken a stranglehold in the town. Well done. Uh... Yeah, considering that Risky Boots is going to be dealt with really late in the game, I don't know what they want me to do with that. If the pirates aren't going away anytime soon, and apparently that woman won't do any fucking thing until the pirates are gone. When Risky Boots returns to rule over us, I'm planning to switch sides. Hey, it's survival. I don't trust that zombie girl or her brothers, but if you've got to trade them coffee, you'll need beans and a means to grind them up. They told me that! That's not a very good hint at all. Oh, fuck. Stupid 360 D-pad. I know it's a save guy, but I might as well. Before I hit the store, let's finish talking to everyone. My mom dressed up as the pirate lady for dad, but I'm not allowed to say such things. You are a dopey kid. Who changed the doc manifest to say Ammo Town? Is this a joke? <laughs> oh, Christ. I, I find it really funny that they just referenced sexual role-playing in a game that came out on a handheld Nintendo console. Through DSiWare, no less. All this excitement is making me sleepy. Ammo Baron's the new mayor, you can kiss the dance costumes goodbye. What, is he gay or something? Sky's Warbird wrench is pretty handy when it comes to making repairs. He's half Rand and half Finch, you know. Well, that explains it. Boulders, golems, even fire-breathing statues, they're all made of stone. There must be a way to smash them apart. I wonder if this can do the job. Look at that. It actually worked. What's up? One last chance to move out of the way. We should rub bellies. It's lucky. Well, you're both dressed for it. Mermaid Cliffs. I was kind of wondering where I was going to go to find another area. Oh, uh... Are you an NPC or an enemy? Nope, you are definitely an enemy. Okay. Have at thee. It turned into a fish and died. Fair enough! But I'm not done in town. I wanted to get some, uh... I wanted to buy some more health potions. And upgrade my, uh... My stuff. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously, how did you get here? By now you've probably seen some pretty big boulders. They're scattered along the path outside town. I'm sure there's some way to just knock them aside. No, that is the first guy. Okay, back to the store. Welcome to the item shop. I 
why I read that every time. I would use have all of them. Okay, what do we have? Crush Puff. Misty Exterior hides explosive fashion. I'll just assume it's a better version of the, uh, whatever the hell the one I have is called. Spitfire. Three fireballs at the same time. Super Pike Ball. Two deadly orbs of destruction. Oh, that's really fucking tempting. Maybe I'll upgrade all three of them instead. Oh, really? That's it? Wow. Okay, fine. We'll end the day on that. Give me the Super Pike Ball. I'm just a Mega Pike Ball. Three spheres of ultimate suffering. Spitfire. Three, three fireballs at the same time. Flamethrower. Kids love it. Crush Puff. Mega Puff. Persistent damage with maximum range. I have the maximum number of potions. Oh, that's interesting. So we can select level 1 or level 2. Let's take a look at them, and then uh, call it a video, shall we? Wow! So it is actually best used from the uh, air. And they spin faster, too. And it's almost as economical on the uh, mana. That doesn't actually seem that useful to me, because it covers a lot less area than the original. Hmm. So I'll stick with uh, the regular pike ball for the moment. Can I talk to you? Right. And I do! Pleasingly. Well! I'll just hit this guy up. Uh, wasn't close enough. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Shante, Risky's Revenge. When I use my newfound powers to explore the mermaid cliffs, I guess. Or maybe I'll start things off by looking for boulders to smash. I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> I'll see you then, guys. Later!